I was in a turtle shell, the hard back brace, for seven months. My back would be severely, severely hurting. I wasn't able to walk. I came to Dr. Blackheader and I automatically felt the improvement the next week. So my third grade year, I was about seven or eight. I was on a trampoline. I was jumping around with my sisters. I was trying to do a belly flop and jump up and touch my toes and belly flop. And I ended up missing and scorpion scorpioning my back. I cracked my spine and had ruptured three discs. I wasn't able to hardly walk. I had three bulging discs. I remember screaming, but after that I really I don't remember what happened that day until I was taken to the ER. We had went to another chiropractor for that injury and he got me up and walking playing basketball again. But then my sixth grade year, I fell on my hip during a basketball game and fractured it. I wasn't able to even walk off the court. I was taken to the emergency room. We got some x-rays of it and I was on crutches for about six months. My seventh grade year, it doesn't sound believable. I injured it in basketball again, going through some tournaments. I got fouled on a layup. I went up, shot the free throw, and continued to play that game and then another game after that. And I always suffered with back pain just normally. But after that game, it was more severe. and I didn't think much of it until a couple nights later, I ended up in the ER and we went back to that chiropractor and we took some x-rays, did some scans, and I had ruptured three discs and the juice out of one of the discs was leaking down my spine. I had screwed up the muscle in my back. We thought it would be permanent. I wasn't able to walk. I had a hard turtle shell back brace and I couldn't even sit up on my own. I had to roll around to get up. It was the hardest thing I've ever been through. I couldn't play basketball for a while after that, just regaining the strength again. I've always suffered with a lot of back pain after that injury. Playing basketball, I always had to worry about it. I had a thin back brace I would wear after games if it was acting up. I would have Tiger Bomb and Biofreeze, constantly taking ibuprofen. After the wreck my eighth grade year, I did start having more migraines, but migraines were in my family, so we didn't think much of it before. After my ninth grade year, I couldn't attend school very much. I started not being able to practice slowly just because of my tiredness, the muscle spasms. I couldn't do a whole practice. The next day I would be dead tired. I couldn't stay up past 11, 10-ish every night or else I'd be sleeping until like two or three the next day. I ended up not going to school the last month of my ninth grade year, just on and off. My sophomore year, I missed the first day of school because we were still doing tests. They had thought it was epilepsy. They thought it was a cyst at one point. We went through so many options. I couldn't even tell you how many medicines. None of them helped. Tons of doctors. I had done an EEG the first day of school. Definitely a scary part of this whole journey. I didn't get to attend school as much as I wanted to my sophomore year. First semester, I maybe went two days a week just because of energy. The dizziness, there was this one memory I remember the most. I was walking down the hallway. It was a bigger school. I had twitched and I about fell and if you fall in the hallway, you're gonna get ran over. <laughs> Not long after that is when I went to homeschool and I did that for a while, but didn't care for it. Basketball came to a complete stop. I couldn't work out, do much at all. My junior year, I had switched schools to Kingston, where my mom had graduated. Limited how many people I told about my health. It was something I was ashamed of. I just didn't want people to pity me. With basketball, when I had first started, I did have trouble keeping up energy, but I think the school change had helped a little. And it was... Right after we had went to state for basketball, that next week I came to Dr. Blackheader and I automatically felt the improvement the next week. Within the first three weeks, I was able to run a mile without feeling exhausted the next day. Now my energy is so much better. I really don't have to deal with the back pain anymore. It's completely faded. I can work out and I can swim normally. I've always loved playing basketball. I've played it my whole life. I started doing it with friends at work. 
I asked a couple of them if they would want to play after work, but we don't get off till like 10 or 11 usually every night. So as soon as we get off, all of us will go up to the park and we'll play five on five or three on three for however long we want all night. And the first night we did it, I didn't get home till about 3 a.m. because we played four or five games and we were all dead afterwards. <laughs> One of the best things that's happened in a long time. My energy is insanely better. I would definitely recommend Dr. Black Cutter. Definitely look into his practice. You might be wary about it at first, but after the first visit, you will definitely feel a difference. Keep hope. Don't stress about it. Just pray about it. Be strong.